2023 gave us its fair share of pop culture iconic moments and historical times. We had Barbenheimer, we had Pedro Pascal becoming the man that he is, we had Taylor Swift giving us one of the best tours ever, we had the SAG AFTRA strike, we had whatever was going on with Prince Harry, we had Mean Girls coming back, we had a certain genocide going on, and yes I'm calling that a genocide. And you might wonder how can we top that? How can we do worst and will we? I am convinced that we absolutely will and 2024 will be a shit show. Hello everyone, I'm your host Leo, a professional music and pop culture fan. I post about your favorite artists, the best moments that pop culture has to offer us so we can for a moment escape from the crappy reality that we live in. I also post about my favorite music, which in my humble opinion is immaculate. One thing that I really love doing is theorizing about stuff in a wild way and then looking in hindsight and seeing that I was right. Which is why today I'm going to use my power for the greater good and I am going to give you my 2024 pop culture predictions bingo. Before we get started, if you're interested in music and pop culture, make sure to follow me and activate the belt. I'm still a new YouTuber and that would really help my channel. And and let me know in the comments what you want me to cover in my next videos. Let's go! So what is going to happen with this bingo that I'm going to share here is that I'm going to give 16 predictions and at the end of the year we will go back and see which of them were true and if some of them actually happened, which would be so crazy and funny, I would love to see that. I will also share like a naked version of the template so you can also make your own version with your own predictions and at the end of the year we can all compare and see who is right. Prediction number one, Bad Omens is going to release a deluxe version of their album The Death of Peace of Mind. In 2023, Bad Omens became like a huge sensation on TikTok. They were there since 2015, but you know, their music, I feel, and their fame really took like a new speed. And I predict that in 2024, they will release the Death of Peace of Mind deluxe version. Now, listen to me. I know this one is easy because they themselves said that it was coming. But I'm going to go a little further with this prediction and I am going to say that they will release an orchestral version of Just Pretend. I would love to see that. So I think it's more like me manifesting, but I'm still putting this on my bingo. Second, I think that Colin Uther is going to cause another scandal. This one is easy too, but I'm going to be a little more precise. I think that it's going to be about her love life, like her personal life instead of her books. And I'm still going to put that on my bingo. I think it's an easy one. I still want some points, but I can't wait to see what she's going to offer her in 2024 because she's definitely like been in her fair share of controversies this year. Third, and this one is very personal, but I predict that France will flop in a gargantuesque way at the Paris Olympic Games 2024. As a Parisian sitting first row for the preparation of the games and living in the city that is actually going to host the games, I can tell you we are not ready. And even our mayor said that. You do not understand, I'm in the metro almost every day and it can't, it cannot host like 16 million people, like the 16 million people that are predicted to come. We are not ready, it's going to be a shit show. I talked about that on my TikTok, actually got some heat, but I don't care. Uh, in my opinion, France already flopped when it comes to the organizations of the games, because like rent is tripling during the games, they are putting students out of their housings, they are going to double the prices of the metro during the games. Even though they said that they were going to make it free. They even closed my favorite metro line just to prepare it for the games and I'm so pissed because I love it so much. <laughs> Biggest thing is mostly that there are the housing students and like people who unfortunately leaving the street, they are pushing them away from the touristic streets, which is a big L. And they also used a lot of like unfairly paid labor from migrants who didn't have French papers, which is a big L because there are big conversations in France right now surrounding immigrations and the far right is really 
making progress in pushing immigrants out of France, which is extremely upsetting. And seeing how they took advantage of them just to then like throw them out of the country is extremely maddening. So yeah, France is going to flop and I'm here for it, even though it's my country. Sorry, that was the political one. Let's go on some lighter stuff. Four, I think that Danny Gonzalez is going to be featured on a musical soundtrack. Hear me out. You might have seen on TikTok or Instagram people comparing one of the songs from Mean Girls to one of the songs that he put on the internet a few years ago, which is really fun, you know? So I actually think that this could work in his advantage and that this could snowball into something bigger and that he could actually be invited to write on a soundtrack for a musical. I don't know if it's going to be theater or movie, I just think it's going to happen. Five, I think that Curtis Connor is either going to give up his mulet or his mustache. I know this is so random and outrageous, but I think that is going to happen. I think that he might want to try out a new style. And this one is really random, but you know, I'm just still going to put it on the bingo and might get me some points, you never know. Six, I think that smaller phones are going to make a comeback. And I can only explain that because I keep seeing like flip phones trying to make a comeback. On TikTok, like multi-level marketing schemes and small objects that don't have any purpose, but that are pushed and pushed and pushed by accounts that are promoting lifestyles but are actually just like <laughs> publicity for Amazon front stores. They are going crazy and they love promoting, promoting these small, use less but pretty objects and I just feel like this desire to cater to a small girly cute aesthetic with the nostalgia bait that is going around is going to make smaller phones make a comeback. Seven, I think that TikTok is going to further try to compete with Twitch. I honestly believe that TikTok pushing lives so much is actually them trying to compete with Twitch and this is even more clear in my opinion ever since they allowed creators to go on lives from their computer which was harder before like they are trying to put out a whole service around that but you can't use it yet on Mac OS and I think that they are going to release this feature this year and that they are going to try to eat more market share of Twitch. Eight. Lana Del Rey will be a special guest during the era store. During the summer, Taylor and Lana are both going to be in Europe. Like Lana is actually performing in a lot of festivals. I'm even going to see her in Paris, which I'm so excited about. But I really could see that happen. Like I'm hoping that their teams are working on it. But if I'm not here when this happens, I'm just going to crawl into my bed and cry forever. Eight, Joseph Queen is going to die in A Quiet Place. So you remember the movie A Quiet Place that came out a few years ago? They are going to release another movie in the franchise this year. I'm pretty sure that it's going to bring back his statue of white boy of the month, but I think that he is going to die in the movie. This is one of my predictions. And I think that this is going to break the heart of the internet, such as it did when his character Eddie died in Stranger Things. I don't make the rules, I just feel it coming. 10, Taylor Swift is going to re-release her debut album and she's going to have a track featuring the Dixie Chicks. We definitely know that they are in the radar of Taylor Swift when it comes to her inspirations and I think that her re-releasing debut with a collab would be a big thing and would actually attract more attention to this album because even though like the re-release have attracted a lot of attention she definitely is putting a lot of pressure on herself so they actually go back on the billboard rankings and I think that debut is definitely like the weakest album when it comes to attracting attention. So I think that she will need to go big and she's going to collab with big country artists and I really see the Dixie Chicks being part of them. 11. Another member of the royal family is going to die when Trisha Paytas has her second child. Now listen, I know this is morbid, but the last time it was the queen. And I'm not saying that King Charles is next. I'm just saying 
he better put a mask when he moves around during the time that Trisha Paytas will be near labor and will be having the baby. 12. No foundation makeup is going to be the makeup trend of the year. I think it's going to make a big comeback because I see more and more videos of people explaining how to apply makeup without foundation so you can still hide like the blemishes of your face and stuff like that without actually putting a lot of foundation. I see a lot of people trying to distance themselves from that a little bit with natural beauty and actually putting more care and work in your skin before you put makeup. Like people are definitely putting a lot of attention on the texture of the skin and the feel of the foundation. We also see the Demi Moore method making a big comeback. So I think that people are going to focus more on texture less skin this year and it's going to include no foundation. 12. I think that Timothy Chalamet is going to be announced as the cast for Tumnus in Narnia. You have seen the news, the amazing, brilliant, lovable Greta Gerwig is going to bless us with a new Narnia. I'm pretty sure that this year they are going to announce the whole cast and we are going to see Timothy Chalamet as Tumnus, which was played by James McAvoy before. I see that because it's just the role he was born to play, you know what I mean? Probably gonna photoshop like a picture that is going to appear somewhere on the screen, but I just see it and if he is not the cast, I'm going to be so, so disappointed. 13. The remake of The Wizards of Waverly Place is either going to be a massive hit or like a massive flop. I just love nostalgia bait, but in my opinion, some things need to stay in the past. Like The Wizards of Waverly Place definitely was in my top three when I was young. When I was young, I'm 23, <laughs> but you get what I mean, like when I was a child. So this was in my top three, like, and I would rewatch some episodes today, but I'm not sure I personally would rewatch a whole new show with the actors being adults. I will still give it a try because this was so big when I was like a kid that I'm probably not gonna skip this, but I'm also not sure that I'm going to watch the whole thing. Yeah, we've seen the old cast talk about it in podcasts. We've seen also Selena Gomez join the cast, which in my opinion is her and her team trying to moderate all the negative attention she has been getting this year, especially with her stances on a certain genocide. 15. The Color Purple is going to be the biggest movie of the year. I cannot begin to tell you how eager I am to watch this movie. I loved the book so much, I read it in one day. Things that me and Oprah Winfrey actually have in common. It was so touching and funny and freeing and also as a white person it was a great opportunity to learn more about like black communities and how it was at this time in the US for black people. I genuinely think the characters are amazing, like I loved going through their journeys. And giving the trailers of the movie and the cast that I have seen that is just packed with amazing talented actors, I am convinced that this is going to be like the biggest movie of the year. It's going to be so great, I'm really excited and I hope that people will get Oscars for this. And last prediction, I think that Noah Centineo, if that's his name, is going to be somehow cast in The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So we know that Netflix is going to make a show about this book, but we still don't know a lot of things, except from the fact that Taylor Jenkins Reid is going to be an executive producer. And this year I think that Netflix is going to drop who has been cast to play in this show, who is going to be playing Evelyn, who is going to play the husbands, and I think that somehow Noah is going to end up being cast as one of the husbands. Him or Joseph Quinn. I will still give myself points if he is cast. So here is the final version of the bingo. I will publish it on my social media so you can still go back to it if you want, even I will. And I will keep you updated during the year if some of my predictions actually come true. As I said, I am also going to release a naked version of this bingo so you can put your own predictions if you want. 
And at the end of the year, we are going to compare our points and see who was right. Let me know in the comments what you think about my predictions, what are your own predictions and what you'd like to see next on the channel. Don't forget to follow me and activate the bell so you can make sure that you don't miss any of my future videos and that you will be here at the end of the year when we are going to compare everything. And you can also watch the amazing video that I release in the meantime. Like this video if you also think that Timothy Chalamet was born to play the role of Tumnus and follow me on my other social media if you want to get the bingo. I will see you soon for another video. I know that I took like a long break with videos on this channel, but it was because I was finishing my master's degree and then I rested a bit. But I will see you very soon for a new video. And in the meantime, I am wishing you an amazing week or day or month.